Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're gonna be going over this outliner panel in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now the outliner is going to show you all of the data Blender sees when it looks at your scene. So as we talked about in the first uh, lecture in this course, we've got the information panel up here displaying scene right here. Now this scene is the exact same scene you're, you see listed over here in the outliner. So if I change this to, um, the main scene you see this updates and uh, it, it's definitely the same scene that we're seeing here so within this you're going to see render layers world settings and then you're going to see a list of all the objects that is within the scene inside blender's 3d viewport so if you uh if you come in here there's a couple of options we can go over that allow you to modify um, what you're doing within the scene um, if you left click any of these objects it will automatically select them in the 3d viewport and then you've got some options for how to modify how you interact with them in a 3d viewport over here in the far right so let's say i've got an object selected here if i want to hide it so that i can't see it you can click this icon here and it will hide and unhide what's visible the icon next to it this little arrow will uh, enable and disable the ability to select the object itself within the 3D viewport. So right now I'm going into the viewport and I'm rotating around, right clicking to try to select an object. And uh, I can't select the cube anymore because I turned this off. So if I right click these, I can still select them, but not the cube. And uh, that's gonna be really handy if you've uh, got some objects you're trying to isolate and uh, they're in the middle of the scene and you don't, wanna, you don't wanna mess with them. You like where they're at. Um, so that's handy. And then the last thing over here that can be quite useful is uh, this enable or disable render option. So uh, if I've got this cube right here and I turn off this icon with the little camera, when I go to render my scene here and when I'm done and I've set it all up, uh, it's going to not render anything that has that unchecked. So that's pretty useful if you've got some complicated things and you want to just quickly preview a render without having to render uh, something that may be slowing your scene down. You can turn these things off over here or turn them on and uh, it will render or not. So uh, let's go over a couple of the other options we have in here. Um, the last thing that is really of note is the search capability within the, uh, the outliner panel. And so as you will probably guess, you can just come in here and type in a name of something and uh, whatever you type in, it will filter it and only display the objects with the, uh, the search here. And you can filter this information by going to this drop down. And uh, there's all of these options for displaying uh, whatever you search for based on these search criteria. So you can only search for objects within the current scene. You can search uh, for objects that are only selected, uh, things like that. And uh, you get the idea. You can come in here and uh, really customize how you search for things. And you know, if you've got something that has hundreds or thousands of objects in a scene, uh, you guys may find this this option really useful. I don't use it a lot, but uh, but again, it's always good to know that it's there. So if you guys need to find something in your scene and you can you can understand that the uh, the object is listed by name over here, then uh, you're not going to have to go digging through your 3D viewport. You can come over here, type in the uh, object's name right here, and it will it will pop up. So uh, that's going to be it for the outliner panel. And uh, in the next lecture, we're going to be covering the tool panel which is over here on the far left. So I will see you in the next lecture.